on the other day i was watching this video abdul rathi and i just saw this cool page flip animation india employment report 2024 ke anusar desh mein har 3 mein se ek yuva berozgar baitha hai unemployment rate 29.1% pahunch chuka hai wo bhi un logon mein and i thought of recreating this hello everyone my name is nares and today we are going to create this cool page flip animation that can be used in documentary and explainer video so let's get started so we have these images that i am going to use for this page flip tutorial let's create a new composition and label it main it is of 1920 by 1080 size and of 10 seconds now let's prepare the background image select and drop this image in the composition duplicate it using command plus d or control plus d on the keyboard now select the first image and draw an elliptical mask over it increase the feather amount select the image below it and reduce its opacity to around 20 adjust the mask feather so our background is now ready Let's create another composition. Let's call it page one. Add this main image to it. Use the rounded rectangle mask to get rounded edges. Duplicate this image using a shortcut Command plus D or Control plus D on the keyboard. Now duplicate this page in the source, creating page two. Go to the main composition and add page one. Now move your playhead to around 1 second and we will add page turn animation here. Before that, let's reduce the scale of this composition by pressing S on the keyboard. Search page turn effect from the effects and presets and drop on this layer. Change the control to classic UI and set this initial fold position here. Select the appropriate position and add keyframes to fold position, direction, and fold radius. Increase the fold radius to around 80. Move 12 frames or so. Drag this anchor and move it to this side, like we are folding the page. And this is the fold direction you can change by changing this value. You can also increase the fold size if you want. All right. So this is out. Okay, so this is how it is looking. Now add page 2 below this page 1. Also change the scale to 95. So they are of now both equal size, same size. Let's convert both this layer to a 3D layer. Now we will animate its position using the Z axis so it appears to have moved out of the screen. So add position keyframe here. Move playhead and drag and move by Z axis to out of the screen. You can change this transparency to 100 if you want. So this is the page flip, and then at this point we can highlight text. So open the page two, and we will highlight the text using trim path animation. Without selecting any layer, draw a line over the text you want to highlight. If you want to learn two methods of highlighting text. Kindly watch this video on the I button. All right. Change the blending mode of the layer to multiply. Go back to main composition. So here we can start highlighting text. Okay. Go back to page two and in a shape layer add trim paths by clicking add. Add a keyframe to end. Change its value to zero. Move ten frames or so and change it back to hundred. Now after highlighting it is scaling up and then the page turns again showing the another page. So let's add this page here. Move it here. Now we will zoom this page using the Z axis. So add the keyframe to the position, move pal keyframes and move the Z position to this side. And this much. Okay. Move this layer slightly here. At this point of the page, we can flip this page too, revealing this new image. So copy and paste the page turn effect from the previous layers here. 
Now adjust the size of this image here. Ok, you can easy ease the keyframe by pressing F9 on the keyboard. Now this is animating and revealing this layer and here we can highlight text on this page. Ok, but before that we have to pre-compose this image. If we do not pre-compose it, the highlighted text effect will not stick to the page and it will look like this. So use trim path animation to highlight the text just like that. This time use white stroke and change the blending mode to exclusion. Now animate the trim path. Ok now add page turn effect on this precom and animate the fold position, direction and radius as we did before after changing it to classic UI. Adjust direction, radius, etc. Now let's add this image here and move its position to here. Recompose it, convert it to 3D and change its position. Let's animate its position by adding the initial keyframe and then move the playhead here and move it upward. Ok, so now we will highlight text here at this position. So open the precom and repeat the text highlight animation just like we did before. Adjust the keyframe position if you need to match the previous animation. Now let us add a zoom effect on the image. So add the position keyframe, move your playhead forward and change the z-axis value. Let me re-adjust the Z position of this image. Let me speed up the text animation. Alright, now move this position animation to here. Because before that we have one more text highlight effect here. Add text highlight using the pen tool using different color this time. And change the blending mode to add. Ok, so this animation is almost ready. So pre-compose all the layers and convert them to 3D. Add position keyframe to this point here and add another at this frame and move it out of the screen. You can also add motion blur if you think. Even you can animate opacity, it's up to you. Now let's add a wiggle effect to it. At this position, we can add a wiggle effect. We will achieve this using slider control. So add it from effects and presets two times as we have two values to animate for each slider. Ok, press P for the position on the keyboard and click the position stopwatch by pressing and holding Alt or Option key. It will open the expression window and we can write the wiggle expression. Add value of 2 and 5. Now highlight 2, select this whip and parent it to the first line. The same way highlight the second value and parent it to the second slider. Now add the initial keyframe to the sliders, move the playhead and set it to 2 and 5 respective. Ok, looks good. Another important thing you might want to know is how to change the back of this page. For that, open this precom. This is page 2 on which we applied the page turn effect. So we will off it for this layer. Instead, we will apply it inside the page 2 composition on this main image. Then add this page image you want to show on the back and switch it off because we don't need it to show in the composition. And from here you can change it to the layer you want to appear as the back part. You can select none or image you want to show it as a back part. Alright, you can also change the light direction. So these are the things you can play around with and learn. You can also add this lens distortion effect from the effects and presets. Search for the lens and you can add this CC lens and you can keep these settings to get this kind of distortion effect on the page.
this is it guys now if you want you can add some extra sauce like easy ease keyframes playing with the speed graph dust overlay and you can change the page texture and so on use your creativity so see you in the next video bye bye